Signs of spring are all around us. Seems like it's on hold though lately. This is a picture of monarch butterflies clinging to the trees, some flying in the air in their overwintering sites in Mexico from two years ago. I was lucky enough to be there in what was one of their highest population years in a long time. Uh, this spring though, we are watching the adult monarch sightings move slowly north. So this is the first generation born from that overwintering generation, which would have come from places like Minnesota last fall. Uh, they follow milkweed. That's what they need. That's the, what the caterpillars eat. That's what makes the monarch butterfly toxic, actually. And then, of course, the adults need flowers for nectar. And we have seen a decline in monarch numbers overall over the last couple of decades. They did have that one hopeful year, as I just mentioned, 2019. But we're down a third from that over the last couple of years. This year's another year in decline, two in a row since that one hopeful year in 2019. But of course, insect populations are very dynamic. There are many factors at play. Climate change is one of those, as well as habitat loss and destruction. Uh, we break down some of the weather elements here with a naturalist, Daniel, who spent several years down there in Mexico. I would say it is, yeah, um, that is a climate change impact, a change in the weather behavior and um, which, as I said, the butterflies can survive if it doesn't rain, but it also really stresses the forest out, which isn't used to those kind of temperatures or, yeah. or storms. Of course, we have sunshine here. Now we need some warmer temperatures to get that milkweed and flowers growing so those monarchs can get here. Normally sometime in May they arrive. Uh, nicest looking satellite image we've had in about nine days here as we've been stuck in this cool, cloudy, and of course, occasionally wet pattern. Now it isn't gonna be completely sunny all weekend. We are gonna be in and out of the clouds, but definitely brighter than what we've been experiencing mostly over the last several days. At midday tomorrow is gonna to be kind of mix of clouds and sun pretty even. Sunday morning looks sunnier, and then clouds will increase later in the day. And some milder temperatures, we're gonna get closer to that normal, which is in the upper 50s, both uh, tomorrow and Sunday, and actually today too. Uh, so we've been talking about that bizarre upper, upper level pattern we've been stuck in. I encourage you to look at Wednesday's uh, video to see that better explanation, but this is basically where we've been this week, and then that change as we head into next week. Not a lot of change just yet, uh, and the American model a little more bullish on breaking down that ridge, moving it eastward compared to the European model, which pretty much keeps it on the west coast by next weekend, so we're looking at about a week from now, but all the models do break it down. It's just a matter of timing uh, as we head into next weekend, and then especially those final days of April, we get back into much more of a zonal flow with uh, heat building in the Southwest and also maybe here in the central part of the country. In fact, the American model continues to be uh, pretty bullish and warm on temperatures, not quite painting the 70s for next weekend, but close and certainly by the end of April. So all the models now do bring in some 60s at least before the end of the month. So we're not gonna stay here forever. But in the meantime, uh, an almost normal weekend, but then another cool blast early next week into the middle of the week. And then that pattern hopefully starts to let up a bit and that'll allow those warmer than normal temperatures again to build for some areas. But we got some wintry weather for some places to get through first. This is Denver this morning. Yeah, not good there. And the Northeast seen a couple wallops of snow. In between, we're gonna be largely missed by most of those systems, though there is the possibility of some Monday snow. So Denver gets one system out of the way. There's another one potentially on the way for them as well that's gonna kind of skirt us. But uh, this is looking at, as we head into the later part of the weekend and Monday, as that colder air dives south, you can see some snow and rain clipping us Sunday night into Monday. Temperatures could be borderline for that one. Uh, right now, most of the models give us liquid. The Canadian model, though, is a little colder, so it does paint maybe a slushy coating of snow. Nothing dramatic, though. European model, though, keeps that coating mainly further to the southwest, where temperatures will actually be a little cooler as we move into that region of the state. But enjoy a pretty nice weekend. Upper 50s, again, the normal high for the weekend is about 58, so we'll be closer to it with those peaks of sun. By next week though, the normal high is up to 60. We will be far below that Monday and Tuesday, however. Uh, but again, there are signs of hope and warmth heading into the end of next week. Yeah, you know, spring in Minnesota, this is what it does.